you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon to get notified of new videos hey youtube what's up manji here back with another video and in this video i'm going to show you how to install any android 9.0 pi gsi or for that matter any gsi on the motorola moto g5 plus for the purpose of this tutorial we're going to install arrow os 9.0 pi gsi what are the things which you need make sure you have unlocked your bootloader make sure you've charged your battery make sure you have backed up your data you might have to format your data in the end so make sure you have backed up your data which includes your pictures and videos make sure you know how to go back to the factory firmware neither me nor the developers nor anybody on xda is responsible for any break devices you're doing this at your own risk let's start off with the credits shout out to everybody who worked together to bring android 9.0 pi on the motorola moto g5 plus we have marty chow for the kernel i'm not sure if i pronounced his name correctly or not we have kubeir for arrow os we have abhishek for lineage os we have shiv for all the volt and pi fixes shiv is the volt expert for moto g5 plus then we have nick for treble enabled to up recovery so let's get on with all the files which we need you need ace kernel you need arrow os gsi if you're using any other gsi make sure you download arm 64a only and remember these gsis are compressed so we need to unzip them next we need lineage os vendor we need open g apps again arm 64 and if you're gsi image already has google apps then you don't need google apps in our case we're using arrow os which doesn't have google apps so we need google apps then we need by gsi fixes by shiv then we need latest adb and fast boot and we need treble enabled to up recovery links to all these files will be in the description of the video so we'll go ahead and extract the latest adb and fast boot once that is done, we have a folder called platform hyphen tools. Next thing which we're going to do is we'll go ahead and rename the travel enabled to a recovery to a file which is easier to type in for me. So I just go ahead and rename it to twerp hyphen potter hyphen travel dot img and then we go ahead and move it to the platform tools folder. Once that is done, we go back to the main folder and over here now we need to extract the gsi compressed file you might get your gsi file in .xz format or .zip format i will have links in the description of the video for tools you can use to uncompress these files so once we uncompressed the arrow os pi gsi file we have a new file called system.img in certain gsi cases you might have another folder inside which you will have the .img file so don't worry if you don't see the system.img file in the main folder you might have a subfolder created the next thing which we're going to do is we'll go ahead and connect our phone to the computer once we have connected our phone to the computer it will show up as a storage device we'll go to the internal memory of the phone and we'll go ahead and create a new folder let's call the folder pi then we'll go inside that pi folder and now we will go back to the folder on our computer where we had downloaded all the files and these are the files which you need to transfer to the phone so you need the kernel you don't need the gsi zip file you need the gsi image file then you need the pi gsi fixes by shiv then you need open google apps and then you need the lineage os vendor porter zip file we'll go ahead and transfer all these files to the phone once we've transferred all the files to the phone we'll go ahead and remove the usb cable and then we're going to go ahead and power off the device once you've powered off the device you'll go ahead and press and hold the volume down button and then you'll go ahead and press and hold the power button and this will boot the phone into fast boot mode once you're in fast boot mode you'll go ahead and connect the device to the computer again once you've connected the device to the computer again we'll go ahead and open terminal and windows users will go ahead and open command prompt and then we need to navigate to the folder where we extracted platform tools and in the same folder we had placed the treble enabled to up recovery for the moto g5 plus in my case on my desktop i had a folder called potter inside that android p and inside that i had platform tools if i go ahead and do a ls over here it will list all the files 
in this folder windows users can go ahead and do dir space slash p and we make sure that we have the treble enabled to up image file in the same folder as we have fast boot so the command to flash to up recovery on the moto g5 plus is fast boot flash recovery and the name of the image file mac and linux users need to add dot slash before the fast boot command and windows users can just ignore the dot slash so our command will be dot slash fast boot flash recovery to up hyphen potter hyphen treble dot img and then we go ahead and press enter that's it so now we've successfully flashed treble enabled to up recovery on the moto g5 plus you can go ahead and disconnect the phone from your computer once you've disconnected the phone from the computer you'll go ahead and use the volume buttons and once you see recovery you go ahead and press the power button now we'll go ahead and boot into to up recovery once we are in to up recovery we'll go ahead and we'll click on wipe and then we go to advanced wipe and once we're in advanced wipe we'll go ahead and select dalvik system data cache we'll select all those things and we'll go ahead and swipe to wipe once this is done we'll go ahead and click on the home button on the home screen we'll go ahead and click on install and now we'll go to the pi folder which we had created once we're inside the pi folder the first file which we need to flash is the lineage vendor potter zip file so we'll select this file and then we will swipe to confirm the flash once vendor image has been flashed successfully we'll go ahead and click on the home button we'll go back to install and this time we'll go ahead and select this option on the bottom right which is install image once we've selected that option we'll go ahead and select the system.img file and on the next option we'll go ahead and select system image and then we will swipe to confirm the flash once system image has flashed successfully we'll again go back to the home screen on the main menu we'll go ahead and click on install and this time we have to install the google apps so we'll select the open g apps zip file and then we will swipe to confirm the flash once google apps have flashed successfully we'll go back to the main menu we'll click on install and this time we have to select the uh, by gsi fixes by shiv so we'll select that file and then we'll swipe to confirm the flash once the gsi fixes have flashed successfully we'll go ahead and click on the home button one more time we'll go on install and this time we have to select ace kernel so we'll select that file and then we'll swipe to confirm the flash once the kernel is flashed successfully we'll go ahead and click on the home button one last time and at this point we've installed everything and we are ready to reboot now before i reboot let me tell you if your phone is stuck on the boot animation for more than five minutes then you have to go ahead and boot back into recovery and then you go into the wipe option and then you select this guy format data and then you enter yes and then you press this key this step will wipe out all your photos and images and pictures and everything so make sure you've backed up your data before you do this in my case i'll try booting without doing that so i'll go back to the home screen i'll click on reboot and then i click system so as you can see we now have the boot animation for arrow os so we've successfully flashed arrow os gsi and i'll be back once we boot it back into arrow os because the first boot up will take some time so you need to be patient so as you can see we are at the setup screen so we'll go ahead and click on start and let me go ahead and skip these steps real quick all right so now we booted into android and you can see the play store so that means google apps were installed successfully and now if we go into settings and then we go into system and then we go into about phone you can see that the android version is arrow os 9.0 and the model number is xt1687 so let us go into the camera app and see whether the camera is working or not let me go ahead and take a picture of my friend for you over here boom let's go ahead and check out the picture let's go into the gallery app allow and there you just took an awesome picture of my chicken friend so 
that's about it for this video youtube likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you